Of the 10 regular season games Prince Avenue Christian played last season, its 7-0 overtime win over Athens Christian was the toughest. It might have been played in week three, but its implications in the Region 8A title race were clear. Wolverines ended up running the table, winning the region crown, and making the state semis. The Eagles ended up going 1-2 and two against the Athens area teams, with each game decided by a touchdown, and made the playoffs. You know, it was our toughest game of the season last year in the regular season, so it, we think it's going to be a tough matchup. Those guys are big, strong, and physical, and uh, it's a good crosstown rivalry. Uh, they're an aggressive team. they got a bunch of good athletes, and, you know, it's obviously a crosstown rivalry, so we expect they're going to come at, come at us, you know, and uh, we should keep calm and get after them and play our, play our game the way we want to. Athens Christian hasn't talked much about last season's loss. They have just a few returning starters, though some of the newer faces, like junior quarterback Joseph Cavanis, watched from the sideline. I don't think anybody wants to talk about it on our team. It's a bad play at the end. I mean, it's just, they were supposed to beat us, apparently, bad, but I mean, came out, did good. As the teams head into their 12th meeting, there are a few surprises. Vandegrift, in his second season at Prince, knows the Eagles will be physical. Williams knows the Wolverines will rely on multiple weapons. One, defensively, very sound, mm -hmm. very sound, and uh, always in position, always where they need to be. Their kids fly to the football, they play hard, mm -hmm. uh, there's no doubt about it. Offensively, uh, everything operates and goes through. They've got a lot of weapons, and, and, and obviously, but I tell you, Grant Roland does, Grant does a great job, mm -hmm. and he really orchestrates their offense really well. He's matured, even since last year, I've seen a lot of maturity and growth in that young man. So, he just orchestrates their offense real well, and uh, they try to threaten you on the edge, threaten you up the middle, and he throws it well too. So they kind of spread you horizontally and vertically and do good things. But one thing both teams will avoid is any thought of last year. You don't. Last year's last year. Mm -hmm. You know, so you go for it, it's a new year, and just go play. You know, and the fact of the matter is, I mean, only four of these guys are returning, you know, so seven of them might have been on the sidelines and might have been watching it, but it really doesn't matter anymore. You know, it's a new season, and we just go forward, you know.